Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. This year I started to share with you some French cuisine mother sauce recipes. But beside these, there's also others that still need some attention. In this video, I'll be presenting you my mother's, I mean, my mom, my real mom, not, not the, the French cuisine mom, my mother's recipes. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make her basic brown sauce. This is a great recipe to have because from there you can adapt it to make other recipes such as gravy. Although similar, this is not an espanol sauce from the classic five mother sauce. I know, it's very confusing. So for more details, please read the blog. So my friends, let's get cooking. In a pot over medium heat, we'll add clarified butter. Because of its high smoking point, this is a great condiment to use so the other ingredients don't burn easily. All right, so when it's hot, we'll add what is called in French, mirepoix, which is a combination of onions, celery, and carrots. We'll stir the ingredients until well mixed and cook for six minutes or until soft. We'll season the mixture with chervil. If you don't have this spice and don't think you'll use it, don't go and buy it. Just substitute it with tarragon. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this herb, please visit the blog. Then we'll add flour, stir until the ingredients are well coated, and cook it for a couple minutes to remove the raw taste of the flour. We'll pour in cold beef broth in the roux and give a very good stir, scraping the bottom of the pot. We'll then crack some fresh black pepper and add a pinch of sea salt as well as a bay leaf. We'll bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat back to medium. We'll let our simmering sauce cook for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. Half an hour later, we'll remove from the heat and pour the sauce through a fine sieve resting on a bowl. We'll squeeze out the ingredients to extract as much liquid and flavor as possible, and whatever left in the sieve, we'll discard it. We'll pour the sauce back in the pot and keep it warm or for another recipe. And my friends, this is our basic brown sauce. It's an easy recipe with great flavor. What is so nice about this delicious sauce is you can use it right away or as a base for other recipes. So next time you need a tasty brown sauce, here's the perfect one for you. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!